hey everyone welcome back to the channel so if you haven't followed me you know that a while ago we made a huge decision so i returned my brp not just my brp but that of my husband as well so today i'm going to be telling you guys the reason why we made that decision and also i'll be letting you know if we regret that decision or it was a nice decision or yeah i'm gonna spill it in this video so but before i dive into the reason i will have to say that it wasn't an easy choice to make and this is something that not everybody will consider and it's also going to leave some people scratching their head like contemplating on whether to do it or not so was it a rash decision maybe was it a right one well that's what we are here to talk about so there's one particular reason that pushed me over the edge and honestly this is something that might surprise you all it's not just about what you would expect there is actually a deeper story behind it so stick around because what i am about to share might make you rethink things and no it's not just about the re usual reasons why people return their brp this goes beyond the paperwork beyond the legalities and it's into something more personal and into something more profound so if you're curious about the real story behind my decision hit that subscribe button and turn on post notification because you don't want to miss this one so let's get into it so welcome back my name is nosdi and I'm, my name is actually dokas Ihomo. so i am from nigeria and i moved into the uk in the year 2021 september so this september will make it three years of me being in the uk and the story i want to tell you about was a decision that we made last year 2023 okay so before we came into the country i and my husband made a decision that okay i should be the one who we search for the job and then he's gonna come under me but as it was going i wasn't passing my english exam so we just took a u-turn and we we're like okay so you take the exam and yeah so that's how we came in my husband came in two weeks before me so 16th of september is going to make him three years so he's going to clock three years before me but on the 29th of september it's going to make me three years in the uk so when i came in i was pregnant so i'm a midwife you guys so i registered in the uk as a midwife i had already started my my registration back home i done my cbt but i had not done my english exam so when we came in i'm like okay let me just do my oski myself and stuff i was not working i don't have a job so my husband was the only one working so i came in as a dependent under him so i and kim came in as dependent then fast forward to 2023 i got my job in the uk yeah that was actually my um I don't know will i say first job or second job because before i started working as a midwife i did care i think i've mentioned it before sometime around last year when i started vlogging like when i posted my first video i said i was coming back from work so i did care at that time i think it was just for three months before i finally passed my english exam and submitted my results to the nmc and i finally got my pin april last year so yeah that was it and when i got the job it was now time for us to like make this tough decision you guys so that's why i want to tell you guys the reason why i returned my brp because from that video that i made i got some people being curious like they were asking me questions are you living in the uk why did you return your brp what's the reason behind your returning the brp i'm like okay chill i'm gonna explain now i think now is the time for me to explain because because i'll be three years here in the uk that's the main reason why i have decided to open up i have somewhat or somehow been regretting my decision somehow but i don't know 
if it's a blessing in disguise or if i don't need to regret or yeah so that's why i just want to bring it here and maybe get some op opinion from you guys to know if that decision was the right one or it was a wrong one so when i got the job first of all child care was the issue child care was the issue um we didn't have anybody to stay around at that time so my husband was like okay this is the time for us to think about this when we came from portmore we were in portmore before the trust my husband is in now gave him a sponsorship for five years five years sponsorship then <clears throat> he was like do you think that we should switch we should swap and stuff so i started asking people i started googling i'm like we've almost come halfway through like not halfway like as at last year it wasn't up to two years then when we decided to make that decision so it wasn't up to two years at that time so then after giving it a lot of thought we found that we found out that the advantage of us switching at that time at ways the disadvantage if you know what i mean like in the sense that if he switch his visa he will no longer be on sponsorship so he will have all the time like he won't be have he won't have any limitation as to when like as to the number of hours that he can work you guys you understand so because in my visa because i was on a dependent visa it stated that um no work restriction but when you are on a sponsored visa like or you are under a sponsorship visa you've got a work restriction so i'm like okay so let me think about it i actually told him that i don't know if this decision i'm making now is going to like um favor us or stuff like that so I, it was like it's not even we are not even up to two years here at the moment so if we were up to two years or more than two years i would have retort, I like i would have have had a rethink about it so he started giving me the importance or the pros the reason why well and i saw reasons with it i'm like okay fine child care is our issue right now so if we do it like this i think our family will be our family life and work life will be balanced that's if we don't have anybody to stay here with us to look after the children so that was how we made that decision and yeah after getting the job i rang my employer i told them i said okay i want you guys to give me sponsorship are you ready to give me sponsorship and they were like they were like yes that they can they can give me sponsorship if i am willing to get one because when i started applying for the job when they were asking me to get to submit all my details i was submitting my I, in fact i submitted my visa you guess my i submitted my visa so that they would know that i'm already in the uk and i don't need sponsorship from them so when i told them i needed that so they were like okay they, they are going to process the visa so um yeah they gave me three years visa and then i applied so i'm like why did they give me three years visa why not five years because the same trust that gave my husband five years visa so why is mine also different so yeah so basically that's the main reason the main reason why we switched the visa is because of child care and so when my husband switched his visa he had to reduce his work hours because it doesn't make sense that both of us start working as um both of us start working as full time when we had the option of one person working less hours yeah so he reduced his hours and he dropped his hours from 37.5 hours to 20 hours with the nhs because i don't want him to resign at that time because i wanted him to be in nhs i didn't want him to leave nhs so the remaining hours of his time he can use it to go and work with agency if he wants so on the other hand for me another reason why i decided to accept that offer was because they were asking me during my interview do i want to work full-time or do i want to work part-time i said i want to work full-time because if i had worked part-time 
the um the, the the months or the time i would have spent doing my preceptorship would have been longer so yeah so that was the reason why and i did not want anything to delay that process oh god kendrick is awake one minute guys okay so i didn't want anything to delay my preceptorship program so yeah okay that was one reason another reason why so now the i think i've mentioned it i said the major reason why we did that was because of our child care so now currently my husband works um saturday and sunday and um mondays to fridays he doesn't work and i work mondays to friday but i try to make my work flexible i try to fill in the flexible working hour contract so that they will be able to give me what i want to work at like i want to work night shift so i told them i want to work night shift but um, i got a response saying that i cannot do permanent nights but they can give me majority of nights but at least in a week i would have to do a long day but that's fine that's okay since so i now told them i said i would want to do the long day but it shouldn't be on the weekend because my husband work weekend so yeah that's it and that's how um basically it's just because of child care that's why we switched our visa so at that time the child care was really pressuring like it was really 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 what we needed to work on because i cannot leave my children in the house and go to work my husband cannot leave them in the house and go to work at the same time so because they are still very small yeah so now the bone of contention is that i kept when some people found out that i switched my visa they were like oh so you mean that all the years you have been in the uk is wasted so um it's not going to count to now it will, it will now start counting from when you on you are on the new visa to your to the time you will get your ilr so i'm like please when the time comes when that time comes or when that bridge comes i'm going to cross it the important thing is that i am in the uk i have not left the uk so i don't mind i'm still here so one thing is that when we came from nigeria kim was maintaining or kim is still maintaining the visa she came into the country with so when my husband was or when we were coming to doncaster i personally did not switch my visa from the one we came initially with until i had to request for a cos you get but so kim is still currently on that old visa and that old visa expires this year september so i've applied for extension for her on my own visa so definitely kim doesn't have a problem but guys i want you to tell me in the comment section do you think that my ilr will be delayed do you think that i'm going to start like it's going to start counting from last year or it will still be counting from the initial time or as soon as i enter the uk with my previous um, yes, it's actually a year and nine months that I was on my first visa, which is my dependent visa before I switched into the skilled worker visa. So guys, let me know in the comment section, what do you think? Because currently I am not really regretting my actions because the benefit is paying off guys. So I'm not regretting, but just let me know what you think in the comment section. Do you think if you're in my position, in my, do you think if you were in my shoe, would you have considered your family first before that mm? so let me know what you think in the comment section and i'm very sure i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please like this video as well and like comment and um, comment i'm waiting to hear your comment just advise me i'm waiting to hear your advice in the comment section and yeah i think that's what this video all about and i'll be ending the video here so please do it to like comment share and subscribe if you are yet to subscribe and please turn on your post notification as well so that whenever i post new videos you guys will be the first to get notified all right guys until my next one bye guys girl i see your face everywhere when i'm going out you'll be there everything reminds me of you i can't take no more